Geeks, Tim Tippett with MajorGeeks.com, and today we're going to take a look at uh, Firefox 50. Uh, they've really come quite a ways with this. The improvements are great. I'm actually thinking about switching back to it as my default browser. What you're looking at here is the page you will see after you've finished installing it. You can create an account, which is a good idea, uh, simply because you're able to sync your bookmarks, your passwords, as it says right down here, your tabs. So you could actually jump from device to device and log in and have everything on your tablet, your PC, or whatever it is you're using. The browser is very simple to use. Like any other browser, type in where you want to go here, and off you go. And from here, you can take a look at bookmarks, editing your bookmarks, showing your bookmarks, managing your downloads, going back to home. You can also save to Pocket if you're not familiar with Pocket. It also allows you to go from device to device by saving. Let's say you saw something on Major Geeks hopefully you wanted to read or maybe this video. You could save it with Pocket, jump over to your tablet later on when you're laying around in bed or having a pop and you can watch this video later. You can, from there, head over here to all your settings. It has your copy, your paste, your zoom, if you need it. Very handy. Um, from there, uh, other stuff that you can do, new windows, stuff like that, which you could also do right here. And your history, your full screen mode. Options, which is going to allow you to go from anything from default browser to your search preferences, apps, your privacy settings. Some of the stuff has multiple categories to it, but most of it's pretty simple. For example, the advanced lets you manage a few different things here. Uh, update, how it updates. Very simple. There's not a lot here. It's spread out really, really well. I'm really enjoying the new Firefox. And of course, you can just close tabs anytime with a little X. And Another thing that they've got going now, you're familiar, I hope, with add-ons, extensions, depending on what kind of browser you're used to using. Let's take a look at the add-ons, which can be a big deal. Add-ons, extensions, appearance, of course, they always have a bunch of them here for you to take a look at. Now, the nice thing about this is they have these little on-off buttons. So let's say we want to get the uh, download video helper. Just click it, or if you're on a touch screen, drag it. And now you can see it tells you it's here. So we click OK, and here is the add-on we just put in. If you don't like the add-on, you simply come in and you uncheck it. Really great job they've done with this. Um, I'm very tempted to switch over to it today. And that's just to give you a little run-through on how Firefox works. If you've, It doesn't really matter if you've used Microsoft, uh, Internet Explorer, Edge, Vivaldi, Opera, Chrome. They're not all that much different anymore. They pretty much all lay out the same, but I just wanted to take an opportunity to show you how it looks in case you're on the fence about it. So there's just so much you can do with this new Firefox and yet you can just quite simply just browse the web with it and those features are there. You don't have to use them. You don't need them, but they work great. Uh, it's fast, as you saw. The memory usage is pretty reasonable. And of course, it's always free. You can grab this over at Major Geeks as always, and we thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.